Delgard. And I'm Tracy Mitchell. And this is Culinary Quickies, a web series featuring dishes that aren't necessarily quick, but the episodes certainly are. Tracy, you've assembled a particularly colorful mise en place today. What's that about? Well, it's about carrot soup. Carrot soup? Yes. Well, I see a number of ingredients that are vaguely maybe south of the border? Absolutely. Although it could be Thai. But okay. you're right. Because I had this soup for the first time in Mexico. Okay. Zuataneo. Oh, beautiful. Years ago. And it was so wonderful. It's haunted me ever since. It sounds simple and plain, but it's an amazing soup. Okay. Well, I'm going to get out of the way because I love soup. In fact, I put a lot of stock in it. <laughs> Every good soup begins with a good stock. This we prepared ahead. It's two to three chicken carcasses, an onion, a couple of stalks of celery and parsley. Save your chicken bones and keep them in the freezer in a bag. And for an occasion like this, they come in really handy. Just put them in a pot with the onion, paper and all, and celery and parsley, some maybe salt and pepper to taste, and fill the pot just above the bones and boil for about 20 minutes and then leave it on to simmer for a, maybe an hour and a half to two hours. You want to dissolve all of the collagen. It gives the broth a great mouthfeel and that wonderful umami flavor. Um, the better your broth, the better the soup. going to do is heat up this cold pot. Pour a little oil in and see if it sparkles. When the pot's ready, that oil is going to spread. You'll see some little bubbles forming. And when I say sparkle, I mean you, you can actually see it sort of spit a little. There we go. See it spreading? So we're going to put a goodly amount in there. Now we're going to add the onions. garlic. Getting great color here and the aroma is magnificent. The onions and garlic are done so we're ready to add the carrots. Now we're going to add rice, salt, and this great broth. <laughs> Time to turn up the heat. I'm going to bring this to a boil before we lower the temperature to a simmer. And this should be ready in about 25 minutes. Let's check to see if these carrots are getting tender. Ah, yeah. That one's good. Try a larger one. Almost. Just a little bit more time. The carrots are soft. We're going to take this off the flame. And strain the uh, solids from the broth to puree them. It's always a logistics issue getting these solids out of a big pot. You don't want to pour it, have it splash all over the place. Time to puree the solids. You could do this with a muli or a food mill, uh, those would work. But if you do have a blender or a food processor, it's a lot quicker. It's very 
very noisy, but it gets the job done. Look how beautiful. Look at that color. I can just eat the color. We're going to return this to the processor, adding the lime juice. and the cumin. Yum. Back to the pot. This is nice and thick. I'm considering adding a little water to the blender and rescuing the rest of this. <laughs> I think that's what I'll do. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> and we're done. This is a lovely rich soup. You may need just two ladles full. I'm going to swirl in a combination of uh, sour cream and yogurt, green chili or jalapeno, pepitas, and garnish with thyme and a little bit of cilantro. So Soup's on? Soup's on. Soup's on? Soup's on my palate. <laughs> I'm going in. Rich, velvety, crunchy, picante. This is a keeper. Any final words? I'm in the mood for soup. Simply because there's carrots. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Melissa's Produce provided all of the produce used in today's demo. Um, big thank you to them. Yes, we just want to say, Melissa's, your carrots gave their lives for something good. <laughs> Find us on social media. Subscribe to us on YouTube, the Center for Culinary Culture. Like us on Facebook. Back next week. Yes. Something delicious? I promise. Looking forward. Bye. Bye.